Hi YouTubers, it's me Juju. Um, I'd like to uh, get back to um, my introduction story. Um, basically, I just want to go back to about three and a half years ago um, when I when I had my nervous breakdown. I guess it's you know it's another way of saying psychotic break. Although it it wasn't as severe as a lot of the stories that I've heard on here. Um, and it it was about let me see maybe six months after uh, my breakdown that uh, that I was finally diagnosed and so uh, the last time I had brought up Dr. Sachs you know I had mentioned that you know I'd only been in his office ten minutes and he said yeah you're bipolar um, he. I've I've heard my therapist mention a few times um, various behavioral disorders as well, but we haven't really talked at length about that, so so I'll probably just leave that until I know more about that. Um, Dr. Sachs was a really terrible psychiatrist. You know, if if I talk to people, if I see that someone needs help, I, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, you know, you need to see a psychiatrist and you have a chemical imbalance, you should take your medicine. That's about as far as I'm gonna go with that kind of advice though. Um, I'm a patient, so I'm, I'm not, I don't wanna be in the position of giving someone advice, but I definitely think that, though there, there's some professionals out there that aren't very professional. They're not very good at their job, but keep looking, because I believe that mental health care is important and it's beneficial and um, organizations like the Scientologists they really um, that's really disturbing you know I, I guess they they actually um, caused like 20 psychiatrists in California to lose their practicing licenses because they don't believe in psychiatry so they sabotage these people's professional careers and God knows how many patients uh, of those 20 psychiatrists so I definitely um, they, they were talking recently on the news about the Scientologists maybe coming here to Albuquerque and yeah I'm definitely not going to be up for that because um, I need my psychiatrist I need my therapist uh, I'm finally starting to get some help um, I stopped seeing Dr. Sachs I think the last time I saw him, let's see, I started seeing my new doctor in October, and it was up like three months before that. I think it was like August was the last time, last August was the last time I'd seen Dr. Sachs. And in, in almost three years of seeing him, he, I was never stable on my medication. I mean, technically I'm not really stable on my medication right now, but I'm doing a lot better than I was. Um, one time I I had um, a toxic level of lithium in me and that oh god it made me horribly sick and, and anyone out there who's taken lithium knows the horrible shakes that it gives you I couldn't write anything I couldn't write my name and um, but under his care I was developing new problems new symptoms I was getting worse um, I was plagued with horrible nightmares they were really vivid and um, they all kind, they all kind of seem to have a doomsday kind of uh, theme to them, and they were very very vivid. And I would wake up screaming, and I wasn't getting proper sleep, and uh, I became really agoraphobic, and that is totally against my nature because I've always been a very outgoing, uh, very social gregarious person my whole life and so uh, that's been really hard for me the um, the agoraphobia part and the more and more I read other people's stories on here I see that that's actually real common I guess a lot of bipolar people have that problem and I didn't realize that um, what I am learning by by reading all these stories and watching all the vlogs is that each case is so, I mean, though there's a great deal of similarities, there's 
they're very different too. It's amazing the variety of of symptoms and and uh, problems you know that differ from patient to patient. Um, my new therapist said that um, the first um, the first appointment I had with her, she said that um, I had symptoms of post traumatic stress disorder. So when I had the breakdown uh, all that time ago, three and a half years ago, excuse me, I have a runny nose. Um, I was actually like seeing things that weren't there and then there were times where I wasn't sure if what I was seeing was real and it was but it just didn't seem real I don't, I don't really know how to explain that very well but um, it's just I, it affected me so physically at first and uh, it's I still have some physical reactions to to my different problems but I think I nailed down what the what this post-traumatic stress disorder was about um, one of the one of the problems with my bipolar is in my bipolar lows I experience rages and so I, I think I actually caused my own post-traumatic stress disorder that's how that's how horrible these rages are they're so intense and they, they're scary for me and anyone who else is around and I'm very destructive um, to things that are around me and I would you know almost always be sick after dizzy headachy nauseous fatigued um, jumpy for days on end and I think I did that to myself and so um, I'd like to start going to anger management um, we are working on anger and therapy but I'd like to go start doing a group thing but right now the agoraphobia is just um, it's just not it's just not possible for me to do right now um, I'm trying to keep these uh, at around in between six and eight minutes long so that it's not such a not so tedious to have to watch them so I'm gonna stop this one here and then I'll start back up and I'll see you in a few minutes